So what's up guys? So as I stated in my uh, broadcast video that I made short and sweet this past week, you'll understand why it's short and sweet and why eventually and why if they continue for right now, they're going to have to be 15 minutes or less or have to be broken up into two parters and why videos that have to be longer than 15 minutes will have to be broken up into two parters. The reason is YouTube has community striked my channel because they claim that I harassed, bullied, intimidated, or threatened individuals. These individuals were most were notable members of the Ku Klux Klan or other affiliates. This information that I had exposed was not new. It was not of my my own accord. The, the information that I exposed was already public knowledge. It was exposed through pastebin by the Anonymous Collective. But apparently, exposing certain names that I did in, that I admit to in War on the KKK Round 5, Anonymous Exposes Members, which has now been removed. Apparently, that exposure violated, um, violated community guidelines, which basically states that, which I guess is covered under personal information. First of all, let me un make this clear. I did not expose any addresses, phone numbers, or any other personal information other than names. Simply, names were all that I exposed. But apparently that, coupled most likely with the fact that I've made several videos in the past on the clan and my personal ongoing war with them, somehow is considered harassment is somehow considered making is basically making malicious uh, content towards them so in, in response I reviewed my video I had an open mind I was tried to remain as unbiased as I could I did not see anything that would have violated those terms other than what I've already said. So I appealed to YouTube and I said that I would like a full investigation into this. I would like a further explanation. I did not receive either. I was not even given a chance to defend myself and so basically They've just basically decided because of the way the unique and wonderfully, you know, created way that the YouTube community guidelines work and the way that basically policing YouTube works, I was not even given a chance to even defend myself. I was not even given the luxury of having a full, full fledged investigation, nor was I even given any sort of expl further explanation other than you violated the community terms in some way and so for six months you have a strike against you your channel is now in bad standing and I can no longer do live events live streams and my videos have to be shorter than 15 minutes this is horseshit I don't care what YouTube says, I did not violate the community guidelines. What is being done against me is clearly politically motivated, and it's a violation of my own free speech. Now I use that a lot, I'm, I'm, I will admit I'm a free speech, free freedom of religious expression, freedom of the press, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a freedom extremist. I will admit that. 
I am a freedom of speech extremist. But the one is being done to me is an insult to what is being what I'm being accused of is an insult and it's hurtful. What they are doing, what YouTube is doing is it shows a complete lack of integrity for this community. It's an insult to this community. And the fact that I now have to sit by helplessly while my while my free speech is basically being violated by individuals who in the past have threatened me and have harassed me in the past and yet I do a video one particular video and for some reason that gets removed because I'm harassing them that, that that's crap that 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 is absolutely ridiculous they're going to sit by and defend the rights of white supremacists and fascists but my free speech apparently doesn't matter because apparently I violated the terms in some way that's ridiculous so you know what I don't I just don't care anymore I really don't care anymore I will continue to do the content that I want to produce and that my that my audience wants me to produce I'm just gonna keep doing my own thing I have no choice but to continue to do this under the restrictions that I have but again I think that what YouTube is doing shows a complete lack of integrity and I personally think that what that what is being done is completely biased and unfair. You know, I for f for five and a half for yeah for almost six years I've had this channel. For five and a half years I've been doing content on this channel. Actually, I've actually had this channel for almost seven years. So for almost for five and a half years, almost six, I've been on this channel producing videos. For four years, I've been doing videos uh, on political content, and I've held great standing in this community for that long, and I'm proud of that. But now it's going to be tainted because a few people are upset because I happen to say some negative things about them. Well, that's too bad. This is YouTube, and we're supposed to have a certain level of free speech to voice our criticisms about certain organizations, groups, and individuals. And the fact that this goes on on much on a bunch of other YouTube channels, I mean, we see even popular YouTubers like Onision constantly bully, harass, intimidate, and threaten other users, and he gets away with it. But us YouTubers that are in the political sphere do something, and especially us young, you know, younger, you know, not well-known YouTubers do, the, you know, happen to produce some sort of content. It's taken the wrong way, and suddenly we're targeted. What fairness is there in that? So, let me just say this. This isn't just me. This has happened to other YouTubers, and the fact that that YouTube has decided to go ahead and do this to me is crap. But there's nothing I can do about it. I will say this. It, th this, is not the, this is definitely not the ending for me. If they think that they can keep me down by putting a strike against, by putting restrictions and sanctions against me, they've got another thing coming. This won't go unanswered. I'm going to continue to do the content that I choose to do, that my audience wants me to do, and no one's going to stop me. You know, I'm going to continue to produce the content that I believe is justified. 
granted, I will try to tone down my rhetoric a little. In fact, I will actually be trying to make this more personable and more professional and more fun-loving for everybody involved, because that's what I've been trying to do. That's what I've been trying to do for the last five and a half years. And instead of focusing my attention primarily on one group of these white supremacist people in which I fight against, I'm just going to I'm going to end up again cutting away the meat and um trying to do content that basically um criticizes and uh um uh, analyzes and all this sort uh, and all that you know stuff that I've been doing previously about you know white supremacists and fascists and why I'm opposed to it and give a, my personal opinion as to why I'm opposed to it and the contradictions, hypocrisies, and even stupidity of these groups and stuff like that. But rather, instead of focusing on one group, I'm just going to focus on fighting against fascism and white supremacy as a whole. So, yeah, if, if you think this is going to keep me down, it's not. I'm, I'm going to continue to do what I can and do what I do best. Because this channel right here, the content that I've been producing, has gotten me notoriety from a lot of different groups as of recent. I even have a group that even is willing to sponsor me on YouTube. So, yeah. This, this isn't the end. This isn't going to stop me. You think that you, you, you can get to me by you, you thought you could get to me by by posting by basically trying to strike my channel? It's not getting to me. I'm just going you know it's just going to basically make me reflect, make me think things through a little bit more, and produce better content. So thank you for for opening my eyes. Thank thank. Thank you, actually, for striking my channel, because now I'm going to rise stronger from this. And the attempt to vilify me in this community is, on, is only actually going to make me stronger. I, I do not apologize, nor do I regret what I've done. And I'm going to continue to do what I do best, because I have no fucks to give anymore. And let me also say this before I end this video. The fact that also that my that I recently had 14 copyright notices on another video called White Arrogance or White Ignorance, which was basically background noise I had no control over. Yeah, that that, that plays into this whole political motivation thing that I think is going on. So, yeah. It's giving me a lot to think about, and one of those things that I'm thinking about is possibly creating an alternative, uh, alternative ways of putting my content out there, whether it's through Daily Motion or Meta Cafe, just because I think it might be better for me. But I will stay here on YouTube, just to irritate the souls of people a little bit longer. I'm NorCal Nick leader of the revolutionist movement, and I ain't going anywhere. This has been NorCal Corner. Peace.